much all I am here I'm here somewhere with this big bag I wonder if anybody can figure out what this video is given what you can see on the screen I think if you look really carefully you can see on the packaging we are of course gonna have a Timu haul now if you've been living under a rock you might not know what that is but if you're on social media I am pretty sure that you will have seen the Timo app that has blown up recently online it's been on Adverts on all of my social media, I've seen it on Facebook, I've seen it on Instagram and it's been advertised on YouTube, it's been everywhere. I think I've even seen a TV advert for it because um, I'm, I'm sure the advert said something like shot like a billionaire or something like that. Anyway, I got some birthday money. I'm going to move this because it's just really weird. I got some birthday money. Uh, yeah, when it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago, I got some birthday money and I, oh, I'm not focused now, there we go, and I decided that I was going to spend some money on Timu, so I only spent about £45, which actually did get me quite a bit, I mainly got clothes and stuff, um, and so I was happily waiting for that and tracking it and stuff, and then I randomly got an email in my inbox, now it was nothing to do with my order that I made, because I uh, made my order with my PayPal, which is not linked to the email address that is linked to my Instagram and my YouTube, so it's nothing to do with the fact that I'd already ordered from them but I actually got an email from a lovely lady called Candy who works in PR with Timu and she wanted to know if I would like some credit to spend on the website um, to do a little haul video for you guys and she would give me a code so I was like oh well actually I've already got an order with you um, in at the minute but yeah let's do that and then I can haul everything together so this is what this is now like I said one of these I paid for myself which is this one here and it is already open because I've had a little scoot through. This came about a week ago and I just wanted to make sure that everything in there was okay. Okay, so this one is the one that I was gifted. This one is not opened. This has just come today. I thought it would be nice if I opened it with you and you got my natural reaction to everything that was in here. Um, so what I will do is I will properly open this on the camera and we'll have a look at all the things that are inside of it. The one that is the one that I bought myself with my own money is mainly clothes and there might be some shoes and I can't quite remember um, but I will get all of that out we'll have a look at it on the table but I'll just pop pictures up from the website and you'll be able to see that I think at that point this video will already be really really long and um, so it's probably best to do that although if in the future you are interested in a Timu haul of clothes and you want to see some try-ons or some things like that let me know about that as well that's maybe something that I can do but for now we're going to do this I have got a discount code for you guys which is JOIN2335 and that's going to get you 30% off off your order there will also be a shopping link in the description down below which will have links to all of the items that are in this whole package that I got gifted it won't have the ones that I bought myself but um, I'll pop the images up on the screen like I said and if anybody really wants to know where any of those dresses are anything from just make a comment down below and I'll link everything um, in that comment do bear with me you know what I'm like with links unless it's provided for me which lovely candy did um, I'm useless at doing it myself but anyway that's enough talking let's get in here so whilst I'm opening up I will tell you about the postage so the one that I ordered myself I paid for on the 31st of May and there was a weekend and then I got it on the Tuesday last week so what's that my birthday was a Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday so that was six days this parcel has been um yeah, it'll be the same. This one was posted last Monday and it arrived today, which is Tuesday. So this one has been eight days, but very quick, I think, from where it's coming from. And for both of them, well, for the one that I paid for myself, I didn't pay postage. I qualified for free shipping as well on that one. And obviously this one was gifted to me, so I didn't pay postage for this. But I just spotted something in here that I'm really excited about. So basically this bag is just a huge bag of stationery. It was all things that I picked off the website myself. I'm going to pop it to the side and we're just going to dive in. So there's some things in here for me. There's some things in here for Chris for work. There's some things for Paige, obviously. There might be something for Jensen. Okay, so we're going to start off with this, which is something that I was quite excited about, actually. Now, this is obviously a mat to use with a Cricut. Now, I'm not sure if there's any silhouette ones. You would have to look. I actually spotted somebody else in a craft group that I'm in and she had said, oh, I got one of those mats for my Cricut on there. I'm going to give it a go. And I thought, I'm I'm going to give it a go so on the listing that I used there was an option for the light grip the fabric grip all of the different color boards that you can get directly from Cricut they were on there so I thought we'd give this one a go my Cricut mat um, my actual official Cricut mat is really grubby at the minute and there's loads of different um oh there's more than one in here Guys, that's really good for the price of it, you know. Yeah, there's a hack online for the official mats where people can clean them up and then they come back just as amazing as new. And mine never does. So let's have a look in here then and see how many I have got. One, two, three. 
they come with the protective little thingy on them. Oh my god, it, fe it literally feels exactly the same. I'm going to give that a go and I'm going to get back to you guys in a different video. Maybe the next time when I do my grand plans video, because I print those kits myself, um, I will do that. But yeah, I was going to say I'll look on my phone and see how much I paid for this, but I think I'm going to make this video way too long if I do that for every item. I'm impressed with this though. These look great. I'm going to give them a go and see how we get on. So let's move on to the next item then and I have got this. Now I did pick this up for Paigey. I couldn't help myself. There seems to be a pink hue over the video and I'm not sure why. It's really, really, really hot today where I am. It's like 29 degrees and I don't know if it's that, if there's something to do with it. Let's just see if we can figure this out. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Okay, so we've got a little stationery set here. Now I have had similar stickers in the past uh, to these ones here and that was what intrigued me. So I thought that we could have a look at this. So this is a sticker set and a washi set. I might, oh, they're transparent washies. I was literally just going to say, I might give Paige all the washies, but I might just rifle through and see if there's any of the stickers that I want. But now I've just seen that they're transparent stickers uh, and washi. I think I'm going to pinch them. Isn't this just a nice little gift for somebody? Little girl, Paige, Paige will love this. She will absolutely love this. It is totally up her street. Is this a pulley situation? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can keep the packaging as well. Ooh, let's have a look then. So we have got some stickers on transparent paper. How cute are these? I love these type of stickers from my journal. And we've got these ones. Oh, bless. She's going to love them. And then we've also got these washies as well. Love them. So we have got those. Next up, I've got something that is an absolute staple in my pencil case. You see me use it all the time and run out of it all the time. Um, we have got some glue tape. I believe this is the dots. This one says it's eight meters by eight millimeters. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to say about that. We've got glue dots, which is one of my favorites because I can always see it better on the paper. I don't know why, but I struggle to see a long line. Uh, so dots is really good. So we've got that one. Next, I have got some Care Bear stickers. And again, I got these for Paige. I say that and you know we're going to share, you know. I go through these things and then I think, well, some of them are really cute and she's got enough. We can just share them. But these ones are like sticker flakes and they're all the Care Bears. And if you're an 80s baby like me, I do have a couple of Care Bear jumpers and t-shirts. Uh, then you will love these. I don't know the names of any of them though. Do they have names? These are uber cute. There's far too many for me to go through the entire thing. But we've got a whole ton of them. A whole ton of them. So they are really sweet. Does it say how many pieces are in this? It doesn't, but it'll probably say in the listing. Okay, I've had to put the ring light on. You're probably going to hate me for the glare, but the video seemed to be really fussy. I hope it's not, um, I hope it's not now. Okay, so next up I've picked up a pencil case. This is a clear one. I was looking for a new pencil case to put my Tombow pens in because I like to keep those all together out of everything else. So it's come flat packed. But as you can see, it is undoing very nicely for me. It's actually the perfect size. I was worried that it was going to be too big. I don't have too much room on my cart for big, massive pencil cases. But this is looking to me like it's going to be the perfect size. Once I've got stuff in it, it will uh, take its shape a bit more. It's obviously been flat packed in this bag for a little minute while it's made its journey to me. That's a bit better. There we go. So happy with that. Next up, I have got some more stickers here. These ones were actually for me. These ones were more like boho. That neutral kind of vibe. So let's have, oh, I like them. Oh, a moon. Oh, I like these a lot. They feel quite nice as well. They feel a bit vinyl-y, you know what I mean? I know you know exactly what I mean when I say that. Be a kind human. Yes, I'm gonna leave that on the screen for a minute. Everybody take that in. I'm sure you all are. You all are that are watching me, but there are definitely some unkind humans in the world. Oh, I love these. I really love these. All of these stickers were really affordable as well. They were just a couple of pounds, if even that. I've already got my basket stocked with more stuff uh, for when I buy some more goodies next time. All right, all right, all right. Lots and lots, good vibes. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stickers in that pack as well. 
I'm making a huge mess at the side of my table. Next up, I just had to get this for Paige. I don't know if you guys have got kids, those of you that have. Aren't they just all obsessed with poppets? Paige doesn't call them poppets. She calls them simple dimples, and I don't know why. But I saw this really cute little purse, and I just thought that she would go mad for it. It's got a little strap inside of it as well. Oh, that's cute. It's like a lanyard style strap, which is really nice. Adjustable as well, which is handy. So I'm not going to fit it on. Well, that will go on there as well. She's going to go mad for that. This was available in a few different colorways as well, but I knew that she would appreciate with a unicorn with some pink hair. So she can have that to carry all of her essentials, you know. Seven-year-olds have essentials. Pages definitely include lip balm. Oh, here she is. Do you want to see this, what I've got for you? Or what Candy has sent for you. You need to say thank you to Candy. Thank you. Do you love it? <laughs> Is it cute? I'm not expecting it. I've never thought about it. Oh, well, you weren't expecting it, were you? Put it back on the camera so we can see it then. What do you think about it? Good. Cute? Yeah. Okay, you go and take that then and go and play with that. Next up, I've got another pencil case. And I know you're probably thinking, why did you buy another pencil case? But I... I always need them and I do have some that are looking a bit grubby at the moment so this one is a two compartment pencil case we've got this bit at the back here and then we've got this bit at the front here I liked it because it's clear and I can see through it and I can see through my stuff there is also a pocket here which is really handy because in this pencil case which I have already got I store my little tabs my washi card and also some post-it notes in there my post-it notes are getting crumpled up because this is two pockets so I thought that it's probably going to be better in this one that's got one long pocket and also it has got two mesh pockets here which I can store things in too so really happy with that this came in a variety of colors actually quite a few things came in a variety of colors so make sure that when you check the listing you go down to the color options and see what else is available just in case there's a different color that's more your thing next up I found some of this paper so this is that overlay self-adhesive cold laminating film it says and this is that overlay that everybody's going mad for that we were putting on the top of our stickers so it's got some different patterns I've had this in my basket on Amazon for quite a while actually and I haven't checked out on it so I was super excited to see it on Timu and it was definitely more affordable on Timu as well so this is my favorite one this one is just like all different stars how pretty is that and the idea is that you put it over the top of your die cuts or you could do a spread. You could do a spread in your journal and go over the entire page. Like how amazing would that look? So that was something else that I picked up. Next up, I have got another essential for when you're planning. Now you might not think that it is, but we need to keep hydrated, don't we? Especially in weather like today. And I am definitely a fan of a water bottle, especially one like this. It's all like ombre and cute. I know that this is going to get stolen and Paige is going to use it in her uh, packed lunchbox. But I like these ones that have got the little reminders down the side and it reminds you to drink because I do forget to drink. And listen, if you're an old lady like me, <laughs> and you have to figure out when to stop drinking because you're going out so I walk to pick Paige up sometimes or I walk to take Paige to school and I have to figure out a good time to stop drinking because I don't want to go on my walk to school and end up needing the loo uh, this will remind you when you get back actually it's well it won't be 12 p.m but whatever time it is actually it's 3 p.m you're back you haven't drank since two get your water to four drunk you know it's a good reminder. They had lots of different colour choices as well on this one and it's just a flip top lid. I like how it's got the little clasp on it as well. It's like a double bit of protection just to make sure that if you are carrying it in a pat lunch or something that it's not going to pop open if you accidentally press the button. So love that. Next up on my list of things that I picked up was this to-do list. They're just handy, aren't they? I have been struggling to get in my planner every single day uh, for a big amount of time, but I can definitely scribble a to-do list and stick it in if I need to. So this is just a notepad that is just absolutely full of the same sheet of to-do list. And I just thought it was cute. It's going to go with any spread because it's not too colourful, but we do have a little colour pop at the side there. And there's also a little mark for you to put the date on it if you needed to date your to-do list. I don't, but if you do, you definitely can do that there. So that was something else useful that I picked up. Next up, I picked up this, which is just a really, really cute um, little book for page scribbling. And I actually had one of these in the order that I paid for myself, which is down there. And I'm sure we can get to that at the end. But we have got this. So it's a roundabout pocket size. It's really cool, actually, because it's got a little sleeve on it. So if you're going to throw it in your handbag, it's not going to get grubby. I like that. 
I like that a lot. It's just got a cute little unicorn on it. Of course it has. Everything that I order for pages got unicorn on it. And then we've just got really cute little pages in here. I use little books like this when I'm doing a D stash on Facebook. I write people's names at the top and then the things that they bought from my D stash. And then I just quickly tick it at the bottom if they paid. So that when I'm flicking through it and I'm checking my PayPal and I see so and so is paid, I just go to that page and then I know exactly what they've got. Really, really handy. But I don't want a huge massive book to keep in my my um, drawers so this type of thing is handy for that so that's why I know I already had one but I got another one as well next up I have got a cute little keyring my keyring that I've got on my keys is quite dark and I'm struggling to find it on the inside of my handbags but when I saw this one I just thought that it was super cute they're dead popular these rainbows at the moment aren't they I really do love them I'm looking at this and I know this isn't going to end up on my keyring. This is going on my planner cart because I do put um, keyrings and stuff on my planner cart as well. It's got a really cute little shaky ball as well, which has got confetti in it. So that was cute. So I picked up that. I have got some more stickers here. Which ones are these? These might be the ones that I got for myself. There was quite a lot that had moons in them and I was just instantly attracted to them, obviously. So let's pick this out and see what we have got. Oh, these are the Bobas. Okay, these ones are all drinks. Oh, I love them. <laughs> but not on a drink. I'm really quite thirsty at the minute now. This is not a good time to, uh, to get these out. There's a ton of them. I'm not going to go through every single one uh, too much. But look at these. An absolute ton of them. And again, they were just a couple of pounds, if even that. So it's definitely a good way. People always say to me, because I have a lot of stickers, I'm very, very lucky and I definitely know that. I PR for some really cool shops. I get the opportunity to do things like this and get stickers from um, companies. So I don't pay for a lot of the stickers that I've got myself. I do buy a few, but people always say to me, what is the most affordable way to get a load of stickers for your journaling collection? And I always say this way, shop on places like this because you get huge packs of stickers for literally just a couple of pounds. And they tend to do things like the more you put in the basket, the bigger the discount you get. Or if you leave things in your basket sometimes, they'll come back to you a couple of days later like, oh, you left this in your basket. Well, we'll just make it cheaper if you want to check out. You know, places do a lot of that type of stuff. This one is just a... Oh, I love that. This one is just a little pack of pink style stickers. These are adorable, of course. Loads of them, loads and loads and loads. I'm not trying to skim through them so much but I just know that we're going to be here forever because I have a ton of this type of thing so I love those and then we have got some more washi tape so let's have a look at these now these caught my eye again because these are clear tape and transparent tape is uh, quite popular at the minute now and I'm quite a big fan of it as well and these ones were all floral ones which I just thought would look really cute in a summery uh, monthly in my stallergy we've got tape on the bottom so let's just cut through that Okay, so let's have a look at these. I'm not going to uh, unravel the rolls because I think you should be able to see, but we've got this one which has got some really, really pretty daisies. We have got this one which has got some smaller ones that's like a field of daisies. Oh, that's my favourite so far. This one here, lots of different colours. We have got this one with more colours. And then we've got this one as well. They are beautiful. I can't wait to use those. That one is definitely my favourite. But these are going to look lovely in my journal. Next up, I've got some post-it notes. Now, these are pretty boring as far as post-it notes go. They are just lined post-it notes. I had to get pink, though. There was a colour choice. And the reason why I got these ones was... I use these in my book clog. You'll have seen if you watch my plan with me is that I always just jot down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and a post-it note and then just put the percent and I'll sometimes put the book at the top or the date at the top. So I don't need a fussy post-it note because I'm going to use a lot of them and they're going to go in the bin. So I, I, I feel guilty when I use nice ones. So these are perfectly nice and they feel nice and they're going to write on them nice but I'm not going to feel guilty using them because they were just a few pounds. Uh, in fact, probably not even a few pounds. I think they were like a pound if even that. Lots of colour choices on that one as well. And then we have got some more stickers. I've got like six more packets of stickers after this as well. I realise how many packets of stickers I've ordered. I'm going to need one of these pencil cases just to put the stickers in, I think. Actually, that's a really good idea. Okay, so we've got these ones. And of course, these ones got me because they had book stuff and moons in. And that is just all it takes. That's very cute. 
So lots of different things here. These are a more sort of witchy vibe. Oh, I like that one. So we've got those. If you want to have a better look at what's in these sticker packs that I'm just flicking quickly through, you'll find the links to them in the description of this video, like I said. Then we've got these ones. Oh, these are so sweet. Oh, these are so sweet. So these are a little bit smaller than the other ones, but I love it. Oh, these might be my favorite sticker pack yet. Oh, they're all cute little fairy houses. <laughs> oh, they're adorable, absolutely adorable. A ton of them as well. So I'll pop those over there. Then I have got another little notebook here. Now this one says that it's A7. I have never myself planned or used A7 before, so I'm not sure um, how accurate that is. But it looks like it's a little pocket sized one to me. And the reason why I got this one was for Chris. He is not allowed to have his phone on the floor with him when he's working. And sometimes he needs to jot things down. And he needs a book that's going to fit in his top pocket. And that was perfect for it. I got him black because that's what he wanted. But there was definitely some more colour choices there as well. This is really affordable obviously. And I like the fact that it has the little elastic band. So that when he's popping it in and out of his pocket. The pages aren't going to get ruined. The paper felt quite nice as well. So that one is for Chris. Next up, I have got yet more stickers again. But I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. And I'll tell you what else I'm not sorry about. The fact that my basket has got more stickers in as well. <laughs> oh, how sweet is that? Beautiful. So we've got some more moon style ones. Oh, I've seen this artwork before. Oh, I have seen this artwork before. I love this artwork. I've had a kit with this artwork. Oh, this one is totally my vibe. Now I'm struggling to see which is my favourite sticker pack. That's gorgeous. And we've got this one here as well. Next up I have got another notebook. Now this one is a bit bigger and I remember this saying that this was B6 sized. I am going to get into it and we'll have a look at the quality of the paper. Like I said, I like little notebooks like this for... Oh, that feels nice. For um, doing my de-stash stuff. Okay, so we've got the cutest little image. I think it's the same little girl, isn't it? It's the same little girl that's on here, I think. The same little characters. Very, very sweet. There was quite... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is so sweet. Let me zoom out so you can get it a bit better. Okay, so that's the cover. And then we've just got loads and loads of different pages inside. The paper feels quite nice. It's actually quite thick. If you were someone that wanted to journal, but you didn't want to have to do too much to decorate the pages, this would be absolutely perfect for that. Or if you've got a little one that wants to start journaling, she wants the pages to look really sweet, but doesn't have the supplies to decorate. Oh, I'm gonna get another one of these. Paige can have this one and I'll get another one. This is so cute. Lots and lots of pages. Looks like we have a bookmark as well, which is handy. We do have a bookmark as well. And then we have got space on the back or on the front if you wanted to stick in a sticky pocket. I think I would stick one there. That's my favorite thing so far. The quality of that for the money that you pay for it. I love that loads. I'm gonna go back and get more. There was a few different designs and I feel like I might go and get all of them. Um, and we'll think later about what I'm going to use them for. They would just look cute on my shelf, wouldn't they? Okay, next up from the same type of collection, I decided to pick up one of these binders. Now, they have these little sort of journaling kits or sort of starter packs of planners. And you get everything that you need in it. I'm sorry about the glare. Hang on. Let me unglare you. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, you get everything you need in here to set up a planner. Ooh, sorry, I'm <laughs> so easily distracted. Hey. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. That is magnetic. That is a magnetic closure. So if your planner grows a little bit, 
you can make room oh i like that okay so we've just got a simple setup inside we have got some silver hardware we've got a few pockets and a pen loop and we've got a cover at the back there that you can slip something into as well and there is a pen loop there and then on the supplies side of thing we've got some inserts and we have got some uh some tab what do you call these dividers we've got some dividers so they are card dividers but we've got one for each different color and then we've got some paper we've got plain we've got grid and we've got dotted and we have got lined and then we have also got what looks like some dashboards in here what a fun little setup So we've got some dashboards. Oh, these are cute. These are very cute. There we go. And we've also got some fun little bits as well that you can pop into the pockets. Oh, I would have loved, I mean, I love this type of stuff now, but I would have loved this type of stuff when I was a kid. Did anybody have the fun facts from Filofax? I just think they were like so grown up, I did. But this would have been so much cuter. And it looks like we've got some stickers here as well. Oh, adorable. Do you know what I'm going to do? I just had the best idea. Paige's class have quite a few parties and she gets invited to most of them. I am going to buy loads of these in the different colours, these little kits, and they're going to be gifts for the kids for their birthdays because they are definitely less than £10 and I usually spend, I have a hierarchy, does anybody else have a hierarchy? So if it's one of Paige's good friends, I'll spend £20. If it's a friend that Paige does play with but not too much, then they will get 10. Um, I usually just put the money in the card, but if it's somebody that she doesn't know too well, then I'll just, I'll just pick a little toy from B&M's or something, you know? God, we spend too much on these parties. And then what do we have in here? It looks like we've got some cute charms. So let's have a look at this. So this came with the planner as well. Oh, we've got some flat-backed, I think, do you call them cabochons or embellishments? We've got some stickers to stick them on with, some sticky pads, and we have got a cute little charm as well. Oh, that's adorable. And we've got this one as well. I'm impressed with that. That is a lot of stuff, and it's just fun. It's just fun for a little one. If Paige got something like that for a birthday from somebody, she'd be all over it. She'd be straight into it when she got home, like, making love notes to the dogs and stuff. You know what she's like. Okay, so we have got three packets of stickers left. I'm impressed with that, really impressed with that one. Let's get in here, then. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, so we have got these. I remember picking these up. So these are like the packaging of the food stuffs, and I just thought they were really fun. There were some cereal boxes that I saw. Loads of different things. Oh, I like that one. Nutella. Have you seen the price of Nutella lately? That sticker is about as close as I'm going to get to some Nutella. Let me tell you, I'm not paying... I'm not paying the amount of money that it is for a, a jar of it. I swear I saw some for like £5 in the shop the other day. Madness. I know you can get shop-bought own brands. It's not the same. McNuggets. I have to give that one to Paige because they're her favourite. Kit Kats. Loads of stuff in there. Again, really cute little set. And then, wait a minute. I just spotted this out the corner of my eye. If you're offended by swear words, don't look. I need a whole ton of that, please, in real life. Let's move on to the next one. So we've got these. You guys can't see because obviously my camera is facing here. That part of my table is a hot mess. Absolute hot mess. Okay, so we've got these ones, which are just some more sort of neutral style ones. These are the types of sticker that I pop in my journal because I don't do spreads in there. I just do a lot of writing and then I'll put like one sticker in the corner or something. So that's why I'm a big fan of picking things like this up. They're also glossy. So I bet you could put them like on your laptop or something and they wouldn't scratch or anything too much. You know, like if you had a matte sticker, I reckon that you'd, um, that you'd be a little bit more hardy. Enjoy the little things. I'm still learning. Let all you do be done in love. So loads of cool things there. I've got one more pack of stickers left and I do have a couple of bits here as well that I'll show you and then we'll get into the stuff that I bought myself. That will only be a quick one because I'm not going to get 
I'm not going to get everything on. You know, I'm not going to try on. And then we've got these as well, which are, oh, I like that one. Which are, again, the same sort of neutral type of sticker. Love that. Lots and lots of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these and I am going to put what I want in a pile and I'm going to put what Paige is going to have in a pile. Um, and she has friends that come to play. I look after my friend's daughters a couple of times as well. Oh, that's cute. Um, and so they like to pick into things. And you know, you don't pay too much for these, so I don't mind too much sharing them. But I think there's some stickers in my collection, if they got hold of and used, I'd be upset. And it would be more about the amount of money that I'd paid for them. Okay, next up I have got this. Now this is another pencil case, but this one is for Paigey. This is available in two different colours. I got her the dark brown, but there was a light brown as well. It's a cute little teddy. <laughs> How cute is that? So the little zipper hides under here. Yeah. she was moaning the other day that her pencil case was full so I was like well we'll get another one then it's very very deep and very big you're going to get a lot in there and it's got a little pocket there at the front as well if you had anything special that you wanted to hide in there so that's very cute and then the last thing that I have to show you doesn't really fit with the stationery theme but I do have a dress which just looked absolutely gorgeous I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen um, so that you can see what this looks like on won't be on me, it'll be on the model. It is the sweatiest, hottest day here right now. And I've been sat in the garden for ages. Um, and yeah, you don't want to see me right now. Um, but how stunning is this material? The pattern on it. I'm going to wear this tomorrow at Paige's Sports Day, I think. I love that. So this is one of those longer style dresses. You'll be able to see on the picture that I pop up in a minute. And I just thought that it looked lovely and floaty. I've had dresses from places like this before. Um, and they've been really good quality. This feels quite nice, actually. It feels like it's going to wash nice. One of those dresses that can wash. You stick it on the line and you don't need to bother ironing it. I am all about that. So I'm going to pop this to the side. I'm going to move all of this stuff. I'm back in a little second when I've got all the other stuff out. Okay, I am back and there was more stuff than I thought. So I did plunk it on the table, but I'm not going to be able to uh, get everything out if I leave it there. So we'll do things one at once. So one of the first things that I picked up was this patterned dress. Obviously, it was the pattern that got me. I'm going to pop the picture up on the screen so you can get a full feel for it. Um, but the material is beautiful and the pattern is absolutely gorgeous. I know it might not be too helpful to see the dress on the table like this, that's why I'm gonna pop the screen up for you, but at least you can see the pattern on the uh, material close up. Sometimes on those pictures, it's hard to see what the pattern is. We've got a beautiful little uh, floral pattern there. We've got a ruched up center, and we have also got a little bit of a v-neck there as well, which is gorgeous, so you will see that one. That's the first thing that I got. This is the second one of those notebooks. I showed you the other one. This is the same deal. I think it's actually from the same listing because I bought this one myself and then when Candy sent me that message and said would you like to have some more stuff as that I'm definitely getting another one of those this one is really cute this one might be my favorite actually but it's the same type of deal just some colored paper in a little notebook that will fit in my handbag and I'm not really going to be too upset about if it gets uh, too much stuff on it okay next up then we have got this which is oh some leggings okay we've got a pair of leggings so we've got elasticated waistband always handy if you are um, if you're a bread and cheese fan like me <laughs> I might go out with I don't I was gonna say I might go out with a flat tummy in the morning I definitely don't but by the time I've eaten my dinner I'm grateful for uh, one of these babies so I'll pop that picture up there now then I have got this dress which is absolutely beautiful actually this is one of my favorite ones I am quite a big fan of the little detailing that we've got here Obviously, it needs an iron. It's been um, it's been on a long journey to me, and I've just stuffed it out of a bag. But yeah, we've got this dress, which is absolutely gorgeous. These are all really affordable as well. That's why I chose to spend my birthday money with them because I knew that I was going to get more for my money than if I went uptown and went shopping. This one is one of my favourites, um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This was available in a few colours. We've got a zip up the back. It's just a cute little summer dress, and the reason why I loved it, I thought it was absolutely amazing, is because it has shorts inside. It has shorts inside. I'm going to get this in every colour, genuinely. I'll pop that up on the screen. And then next up, I have got this one, which is a little bit of a leopard print number. 
So these are all obviously floaty summer dresses because that's just the season that we're in. I actually have in my basket at the moment some jumpers and some long sleeve tops because I thought, well, I've got loads of stuff for this because we're having a bit of a summer sun at the minute. We don't have that very often in the UK. And when that passes, I'm going to have nothing to wear. So I thought, yeah, we'll get some other stuff as well and see what the quality of the jumpers are like. But we've got this one here, which is just another little V-neck number. We've got some buttons down here. Very, very pretty, just light and floaty. I'll pop a picture up on the screen now. This one was also one of my favourites. This one was available in a few different colours, but I don't buy red very often, and this just struck me. So this one has got a bit of a lower neck. Um, it's a little bit more booby, but I quite liked that in this one. Maybe for a little day date. And then we have got a little bit of a frilly trim situation at the bottom there. Very, very pretty. Not as floaty as the other ones. It's definitely not a tight dress or anything like that. Not quite as floaty as the other one. And I just thought that made it a little bit more, a little bit more sort of dressy if you're going on a day date or something. So I'll pop a picture of that one up on the screen. And then are we in the last bit now? I think this is the last bit of clothing that I got. And then I do have a pair of shoes and then we are finally done. So I got some PJs. So we've got a black top here, just short sleeves, and then we have got some pants, elasticated band again, which I am a fan of. I just want to chill out at home, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be wearing anything that's got buttons on it and I feel like I can't breathe out. I just want to be relaxed while I watch my TV shows. So that's really cute, and that was really affordable as well, I remember thinking. And then the last thing that I picked up was a pair of little shoes or sandals. So we have got these. And I actually think that these are really lovely. So we've got a little buckle here, and that's gonna go around your ankle. And we've just got a cute little sandal. Nothing too crazy, nothing too high. I'm not gonna break my neck in them, but they're gonna look cute with all of my summer dresses that I just picked up. Okay, so that is your lot. I'm sorry if that was a crazy long video. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and edit it as much as I can just to get all the crazy stuff out that you don't need to see. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Timu. That is everything that I got sent from Timu. So don't forget, half of it was sent to me gifted and half of it I paid for with my own money. And uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with everything that I see here. The stickers are just amazing. I'm definitely going to go back and pick up some more packs of them because why not? Why would I not? They're just great. Uh, so don't forget then, there is a code for you to use to get 30% off your order. And that is join2335. I'll pop that up on the screen. The shopping link for all the items that I got in my gifted stuff is going to be down below. Um, and you can click through on there and see whatever you want, prices and stuff. Uh, if you want to know about the dresses and stuff or you can't find the links for those, just drop me a message down below and I'll comment with the link. Um, just because they weren't sent to be my candy, she didn't know that I had those. I'd ordered those myself. So she didn't pop those links into the little um, shopping link there. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I've got to say. So let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video let me know if you've bought anything from Timu before and if you have what you thought of it and I guess I will see you in the next one if you like this video if you can give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon bye